This is a Chucky Beat production. It's a showdown, 10 years in the making, I tell ya. It's an insignificant, probably means not much to nobody, old PC showdown. And it's been 10 years since these things were really high up on, you know, the, the computational scale. We have AMD Ryzen. We have KB Lake now. We have M.2, you know, super crazy fast SSDs. We got eight cores, 16 threads going through gigabit lands to the super internet. Back when these computers were king, you were lucky if you could even play 1080p video on your television or even find any of that content. But I digress. What am I doing here? Well, I've been spending the better part of uh, a week or two getting the best of the best from Intel and AMD ready for a showdown and a little series I'd like to do that compares the computational you know, gigaflops of 10 years ago compared to today and AMD 10 years ago versus Intel 10 years ago and bring it all the way up to the modern age. KB Lake versus Ryzen. And, uh, you know, this might seem like a weird thing. It's a little bit of, uh, you know, an odd subject, but these computers are getting interesting, I think. Uh, you know, this is the time before solid state hard drives. And this is a time before, you know, even uh, UFI BIOSes, which is like, uh, you know, BIOSes that actually look like Windows, kind of. These are, you know, DOS-based uh, BIOSes. I, I was trying to upgrade the uh, BIOS on the AMD system, uh, well, one of the AMD motherboards I have here, to get uh, a little bit better specs and stuff, and it, was, it took me two hours to realize it was a futile effort. But these old computers, they can do a couple of things. Uh, they're, they're very close in computational power. The, it's a Core 2 Duo with 4 gigs of DDR2, 800 megahertz memory uh, with an uh, NVIDIA graphics card versus an AMD Phenom quad core, one of the first of its kind, uh, and a Radeon uh, 4000 series graphics card, and they're going to go head to head. N now, uh, most of the components in these computers are from 10 years ago, exactly. The processors, you know, the motherboards, all that good stuff. That limits them to 8 gigs of RAM, and uh, due to financial constraints, I'm not going to go out of my way to get really expensive ddr2 memory on ebay we only got four gigs in each system but that's fine uh also video cards they're both running nine-year-old video cards but i have a reasoning for that they're both running nine-year-old video cards that were kind of almost the best nine years ago which i think puts them at the best from 10 years ago uh case in point instead of having an 8800 gt uh in the uh, intel system i have a 9600 gt instead of having the 37 uh, or th 3570 in the amd system i have a 4760 i think Oh, we'll get to the specs. This is an introduction video explaining where I'm going from here. Once I'm done, just uh, I've got Crisis installed on these two computers. I've got some crazy stuff going on. Uh, we're going to do some benchmarking and then we're going to do some overclocking on both of these computers. And then I plan on in the next uh, couple weeks 
fast forwarding to today and seeing how far we've come you know I, I, i've actually already done cinebench scores on both of these without overclocking we've come a very very long way even uh my current computer uh it's an intel uh core i7-3770 which is about from 2013 so like you know six years later it's like five five years old now so it's about halfway it blows the like these computers out of the water because it, it, about five years ago things really started getting to a point where they're just it's, it's incredibly fast and they're only able to make minor adjustments in the speed of computing you know based on making m transistors smaller on processing dies and stuff like that so what i am going to do is i'm going to leave you with a bit of uh you know a breakdown on the exact specifications of each of these computers and starting tomorrow we're going to start with the amd phenom x4 90 what is it uh, 9600b it is a quad core one of the first of its kind amd putting their basket you know all their eggs into more cores rather than faster cores uh this is only a dual core intel core duo system and i gotta tell you it's hard to really see the difference even though there's double the cores in this computer but uh, we're going to start off with this computer, run all kinds of benchmarks, see what you can do today with modern applications, see what you can do with a couple of older games. This is not going to run AAA titles, these computers, but I want to see how far you can really go with them. So stay tuned this week. It is retro 10 year ago computer week. We're going to do AMD Intel. It's going to be a fun time. If you don't like computers, I apologize, but I like computers a lot, and I'm finally getting around to doing some computer videos. And then uh, in the coming weeks, we're going to have an AMD Ryzen system build, and we're going to have uh, LG G6 review as soon as it's available. I'm scoping it up. I'm scouting it out. I'm dropping it down. It's going to be a fun week, guys, a uh, fun couple of weeks. So stick around. My name is Timmy Joe. Thanks very much for watching. Here are the specs of these 10-year-old computers. So.